Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! And we are returning once more to our absolutely stunning wild cheetah. I cannot get enough of her gorgeous spots. Just look at her! Look at her! Oh, she's so beautiful. I love the tiny little dots everywhere! I don't know what it is about spots and dabbled animals lately, but I just really have begun to get a little bit of an obsession. So we might need to think of some more spotted animals that we could potentially add to our laboratory challenge. So what do you guys think? Like actually other than cheetah and maybe thinking about leopards and jaguars and snow leopards, do you guys really know that many other spotted animals I guess technically you could say that other than Dalmatians, there are like cows that are kind of spotted, but I'm really curious. Help me out here, my friends, because you too could end up becoming one of our wonderful lab assistants and a fellow um, crossbreeding scientist. I hesitate to say mad scientist, though some may give me that label. If you can help me come up with some more really fantastic wild animals with spots that we could crossbreed with this cheetah, but for, day, for today, we are going to be focusing less on spots and more on speed. So what do cheetah tend to eat in the wild? They tend to eat another very fast creature who has been locked in an evolutionary arms race, trying to outrun one another for countless generations. The antelope or the gazelle. And today we actually have a very handsome gazelle named Chris. After Chris, thank you so much for leaving a comment in our previous videos, Chris. That was really cool of you. I'm glad that you're enjoying these wonderful, like, little crossbreed mixes we're doing. You just never know what's going to pop up. But Chris is here as our very first gazelle. And this gazelle and the custom content horns and hooves are actually from Kalino. So the whole beautiful package is from Kalino. If you guys would like to have some gazelle roaming around one of your Sims homes or in your Sims neighborhood, it's definitely an interesting sight to see. Uh, and I'm really, really curious what mixing this gazelle with our cheetah may end up with the results of. Like, I'm trying to think what to call that. Our litter? I guess we're just gonna say a gazelle and a cheetah litter. So today, we are going to crossbreed these two. Although in real life, they are mortal like enemies, or really the gazelle is more concerned that the cheetah is its mortal enemy. Cheetahs primarily eat these smaller, faster antelope gazelles. Uh, hares are extremely, like hares is in the bunnies are extremely common for a cheetah's diet because cheetah are actually smaller than lions and because they have sacrificed a lot of that muscle density that you see in lions and leopards for kind of a lighter build, lighter muscle structure, lighter sort of bone structure, they don't have the fierce strength that you see in a lion pride to be able to take down something like a water buffalo, for instance, uh, or any of the really big wild animals on the savanna. But they do have the speed and the skills to be able to hunt down those gazelles and antelopes, especially the small ones. They also don't really hide their food, so like leopards might take down something a little bigger, like a antelope of some kind, and then drag it up into a tree. But cheetah don't drag their food up into trees, at least to my knowledge, mostly because usually their food is stolen from them. Cheetahs, because they are one of the smaller animals of the predators on the wild savanna, will often end up with their kills being stolen from them by hyena, by lions, by basically anything that comes along. They're pretty skittish, so they would rather just live to see another day and run for it. So why don't we see if we can combine the speed of our wild cheetah and Chris the gazelle and end up with something faster than both of them. So you guys ready? This is gonna be pretty interesting. I think that this, I'm not really sure how this love story works. I'm really not sure how this love story works. I think maybe we have just a very shy cheetah and there's something kind of skittish, but also somewhat, um, how do I put it? Like I've been this particular gazelle, Chris here, comes across with a very forceful personality. Because if you've ever startled a deer that decides not to run away from you, which I have done several times, sometimes they'll just turn and stare at you and stomp their hoof and you're like, uh-oh. And I think that's what Chris does. He's really startled, but he forgets to run, so he does his best to act tough. 
and that tough act actually won over our lovely cheetah Antisha. So let me go ahead and uh, Antisha, what a lovely name. You're going to be our new wild cheetah. Let me go ahead and change cheetah. There we go. And welcome to our lab. So let's go ahead and see what kind of babies you two would have. Um, holy cow. The very first one picked. You guys, hang on. This is way, way, way too ironic. But let's have Antisha the cheetah and Chris the the startled but forgets to run so he comes off as really a fierce gazelle. <gasps> Their first baby is a gazelle! A little, a little gazelle baby, oh my gosh. And this one's actually going to be Trashy Panda of all names. But Trashy Panda, this is the ultimate irony because the comment from the random comment picker that just popped up says, could you crossbreed a cheetah and a gazelle? And I swear to you, I have not seen your comment until this moment, but how freaking ironic that the very first crossbreed of a cheetah and a gazelle that we got ends up being you who suggested that 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 just blows my mind you have you could like go look outside today you might find a four-leaf clover like that's absolutely ridiculous oh my gosh so you are definitely a very special addition let's go ahead and see what you have to offer you are a adventurous hunter who is a troublemaker so you definitely take more after your cheetah parent though i'm beginning to think that actually chris is a little bit of a troublemaker in his own way but Trashy Panda, welcome, welcome. We will have to wait to see if you inherit your father's horns and hooves when you grow up. That is so ironic. Go look for all of the luck, my friend. All right, let's pull up the next name and let's go ahead. And Tisha, what a beautiful name. Oh my gosh. And Chris, <gasps> a demon eyed gazelle. Oh my gosh, and look at that tail. A demon-eyed gazelle with a long tail, and this is actually going to be Serenity. So Serenity, I have to admit, so far it doesn't look like you're living up to the name. Uh, Serenity is also a really beautiful name. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you um, you definitely, you do have a little bit of irony going on there with the eyes. Oh, you can't give a wool, so let's roll again. You are a couch potato who is jumpy, and you are aggressive. That amuses me. So I think that you're actually, look at that, taken after the cheetah. That is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and see the next one. So far, we're having like a whole gazelle herd, which is pretty interesting. I wonder if Antisha just might feel like, this is my family now. All right, and the next one, <gasps> another gazelle. Holy cow, we're just building our own herd. What is this, the niche stampede challenge? What is going on here? May I introduce all of you to Ken Fufu. Ken Fufu, thank you so much for leaving a comment on our previous videos. And of course, guys, if you don't know by now, when you should probably know by now, if you would like to become one of our animals in our the random laboratory challenge, there we go, then all you need to do is leave a comment. I put the comments into a random comment picker, and then the random comment picker will choose your name. All right, let's go ahead and see what you are, Ken Fufu. You are a troublemaker who is jumpy and independent. So we're getting quite the interesting gazelle herd out of this crossbreed so far. Let me go ahead and get the next name. And now we have cheetah and gazelle. Still the gazelles. This is so interesting. Last time we had a cheetah and a Dalmatian mix, it was almost all cheetah. So almost all cheetah colorings. And this time we really are just making our own herd. I feel like Chris is like, yes, these children will have fangs. They will be able to protect us. We will build a herd that no one will mess with. So Chris, you are quite the troublemaker starting some interesting things. And this is actually Shannon. So welcome Shannon to the cheetah gazelle herd. It's definitely turning out extremely interesting. You are a friendly troublemaker. We're just like this. Can you just imagine this? What is this? Like our wild craft adventures too? There's just a troublemaking herd of gazelle cheetah crossbreeds roaming through the savannah. This is hilarious. I, I can't believe this. And you're also a sleuth. So what is going on here? Are we just going to end up with an entire herd of troublemakers? Troublemaker, aggressive, troublemaker, troublemaker. 
<laughs> we just might. Wow. Chris, what is in your jeans? Oh, this is a beautiful cheetah crossbreed. Oh my gosh. All right. <gasps> we ended up with a cheetah. I think Antisha is probably a little relieved. Oh my goodness. All right. So now we actually have the beautiful, beautiful puppy. So a cheetah named puppy. Huh. <laughs> But that's after, after Puppy Patna. Thank you so much for leaving your comment. I hope you have a nice week too. I'm so glad you're enjoying our adventures. And I think a crossbreed with a panda is definitely something we need to have on our list for upcoming adventures. Let's go ahead and see what Puppy ends up having for traits. And we now have a jumpy, vocal, adventurous little cheetah. I hope I'm so relieved that we have at least one that looks like a cheetah, but we do have basically an antelope herd now. All right, and last one. Let me go ahead and pull up the name. We're gonna go ahead and add. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready? Are we going to end up with another cheetah cub or will this be a gazelle? Chris? <gasps> a little demonite cheetah cub. Hi, little one. And this is actually Sarah. So Sarah, thank you so much for your sweet comment. You are now added in as a troublemaker. <laughs> of course. I think we do have basically a troublemaking herd of gazelle. <gasps> and it just occurred to me the cheetah might inherit those horns. What? So we have an energetic, active, troublemaking uh, gazelle herd. Pretty excited to see how this mix is going to go. Let's look over all the babies again. We've got some really ridiculously cute babies who very much look like gazelles. And we need to see if they're going to grow up and inherit their father's horns. So, Trashy Panda, it, is it going to continue to be your lucky day? Let's go ahead and see. <gasps> Whoa, that's a cheetah head on a gazelle body. And you did indeed end up inheriting those horns, but not the hooves, my friend, which may or may not allow you to run even faster. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and find the horns really quick. And there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, Trashy Panda, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's... I think that this may be an animal who might be able to defend itself. A little bit of a, our troublemaking gazelle herd going on here. Let's see who else we get up with. So we have Cheetah Head, Gazelle Body, Serenity. <laughs> Serenity, my jaw hit the floor. You very much did not look like what I thought you were going to look like. You, you're, you're a bit, I really hope you end up with some horns. <laughs> but I think that this might, oh, we didn't end up with any horns or hooves. <laughs> so this is a, um, a hornless cheetah antelope. Serenity, I think, I'm, I'm not sure what I think here. I think that you kind of remind me a little bit of a llama. That's my default for when things get really long necks and tiny heads and I, I really kind of have to squint and think about what we've done with ourselves. But I, I, I'm intrigued, this is a, she's aggressive. So just when you think that, there, oh, there's no horns, that's gonna be my lunch. Uh, you're gonna be in for a bit of a nasty surprise right there, that's for sure. All right, all right, Serenity, I see how it is. King Flufu, you're adorable. Oh, this is why I love these challenges. You never know what you might end up with. Oh my gosh. And King Flufu of the giant ears and the cheetah head has now inherited, are you guys ready for this? Both the horns and the hooves. So let's go ahead and get both of those in and see how that looks all together. Let's see, there we go. That's looking awesome. King Flufu, who is also a bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> we just have this troublemaking herd of, of babies roaming the land, like these, I mean, look at this tiny little tail. Oh, this is so cool. I, I feel like these guys are gonna give Gazelle in the area a totally new name. All right, Shannon, what are you gonna grow up into? I mean, look at look at this face. I love those ears. Those ears are gonna hear everything. Shannon? <gasps> Shannon! Look at that tail! Shannon ended up being a long-tailed gazelle. We've actually had a couple of them now that I think about it, but she has like a little golden tail. 
Oh, she's pretty cute. She's also a troublemaker and she also inherited both the horns and the hooves. So yeah, they're gonna start quite the new kind of herd in the area. Everybody better be ready. Let's come down, add in those hooves. Look at that. I think they're gonna be able to protect their dad. I think that Chris is going to be like, that was the best decision that I accidentally made just because I forgot to run ever. Now I have this pack, this little, he's got his own little herd that will be able to go around with him. And every time someone tries to eat him, they're going to like run into these cheetah gazelles. This is fantastic. All right, and then now that all of our little gazelles are done growing up, are we going to end up with some horned cheetahs? Puppy the cheetah, let's go ahead and grow you up. <gasps> oh, puppy! You did not end up with the horns or hooves, but something and everything about you won me over. This is why you should never, ever, ever, ever judge a book by its cover, I suppose, or a, 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 a tiny cheetah gazelle pup crossbreed thing by what you think it is going to grow up into. Because I didn't know I wanted this in my life, but I'm so happy that you were in my life, puppy. Look at you! Okay, guys, on our final note, our fifth and or sixth and final little one, Sarah, what are you going to grow up into? <laughs> Beautiful. Nothing that I ever expected, especially since Sarah did inherit the horns, but not the hooves. <gasps> I, we now have a red demon eyed, tiny, tiny legged, the old cow tailed, beautifully horned cheetah crossbreed with spindle legs. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen in these experiments. All right, guys, I think Puppy like absolutely won me over, but I have to say that King Fufu, uh, Shannon with a little golden tail, I'm really feeling like pretty much all of these, especially like Serenity. Serenity, you definitely have a unique look to you, my dear, but I feel like Chris is just like, and this is gonna be the easy life because now he has got all of these little ones to roam around and protect him. Look at those ears. Puppy, I think I think that you have just stole my heart. But all right, my friends, this was a very successful and unexpected twist experiment. I can't wait to see what you guys suggest for our next ones. If you would like to go ahead and leave some comments with your ideas, then potentially one of them will be picked either as a name for the future or as another experiment we can do here in the laboratory. If you could, do please leave a like to help me feed these guys whatever it is they eat. That's another question for another day. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. Bye-bye!